Listen, we made a film about a gay man, an immigrant who uh, lived his life just unapologetically himself. At Sunday's 91st Oscars, last year's winner for Best Actor and Best Supporting Actress, Gary Oldman and Alison Janney, presented the award for Best Performance by an Actor in a Lead Role with Christian Bale for Vice, Bradley Cooper for A Star Is Born, Willem Dafoe for At Eternity's Gate, Rami Malek for Bohemian Rhapsody, and Viggo Mortensen for Green Book, all hoping to win. Ultimately, it was Rami Malek who took home the coveted award for his portrayal of the late Queen frontman Freddie Mercury in Bohemian Rhapsody. Malek gave a heartfelt acceptance speech, pondering what the younger version of himself would think if he knew that this day would come, referencing the fact that he struggled with his identity, much like Mercury himself. I am the son of immigrants from Egypt. I'm a first-generation American, and... <laughs> Finally, Malik gave a heartwarming acknowledgement to his co-star and real-life girlfriend Lucy Boynton, telling her that she was the heart of the film, is immensely talented, and has stolen his heart. And 2018's winners for Best Actress and Best Supporting Actor, Frances McDormand and Sam Rockwell, presented the statuette for Best Performance by an Actress in a Lead Role, which was between Elitza Apriccio in Roma, Glenn Close in The Wife, Olivia Colman in The Favourite, Lady Gaga in A Star Is Born, and Melissa McCarthy in Can You Ever Forgive Me? And the winner was Olivia Colman for her role in The Favourite, in which she plays Queen Anne. Colman, who was a first-time Oscar winner, tearily accepted her award, saying it was quite stressful before breaking into giggles that she had won. Colman also told fellow nominee Glenn Close that she was her idol. You've been my idol for so long, and this is not how I, I wanted it to be, and I, I think you're amazing. And she also enthusiastically thanked her co-stars Rachel Weisz and Emma Stone. Colin also declared that she would snog anyone that she forgot to thank on stage, and for all you Americans watching, that means kiss. For more on this story and for much more Oscars coverage, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez.